What's it been like for you to rewatch it? I think to rewatch it, it's kind of therapeutic. It's it's really I like rewatching it and knowing that I've been there, I've been through it, but it's in the past. And like I said, I feel so at peace that it's almost like looking back just makes me want to look forward even more. So was the making of the show therapeutic or is really really just the watching that? I think the actual making of the show is therapeutic for both of us. We're actually able to talk things out on camera and real disagreements that we're going through. We can actually go through the motions. And when we're filming now, we've been doing it for so long that we both forget the cameras are even there. So that that is just real life, me and Tark. Showing our personal lives it was a little scary at the beginning because we weren't, we've never done it before. And so we were both like, well, what is this going to entail? We don't want it to be super dramatic. We still want it to be about an amazing transformation of a home. And so that's why we just made sure that it was only a little bit of the process and that it didn't make either of us look angry because neither of us are angry by any means. So we just want to make sure that we were very involved in the whole entire show and make sure that it came out the way that we wanted it to. We had never talked about showing any personal side. Actually, HGTV was bought by the Discovery family, so I'm not exactly sure, but maybe the merger has something to do with taking a little bit more of a risk. I think that when everything first started, like you said, we never, we were just known as a, a husband and wife, house flipping couple, and when we first separated, I didn't really think that it was going to be that big of a deal. I knew that fans were going to be sad or upset, but I didn't think it was going to turn into a media frenzy. So... I never really got used to that. I'm just a normal person. Like you said, I'm a mom, I'm a business owner, I'm a hard worker, I have good friends, family. I'm just a normal person. And I think the misconception is that, that there's so much drama associated with it. There really is not that much drama associated with it. And I think it just gets flooded in the media and I'm not exactly sure why. Yeah, I lived in Yorba Linda in a very small town and everyone kind of knows each other. And that's kind of one of the reasons I decided to move and start fresh, just to move by the beach and, and be able to, to walk to the beach with the kids and ride bikes. And it's a good time for Taylor to transition schools because she's only going to second grade. And actually getting down there and just going for walks and enjoying a lot more time outdoors together has been it's been great it's been like a breath of fresh air Targ moved to Newport and we thought it's best she does sports down in Newport she plays club soccer so we both decided it's best for us to just live closer together the drive time for Targ to school was was really far to take the kids to school and so we looked at a bunch of schools together and we chose one that was most similar to her current school and actually the house that I bought is only about two blocks from his house which is going to make co-parenting even easier it's going to be much simpler for us to pick the kids up and drop off and if we forget something which I'm sure any divorced parent can relate to like a backpack or a pair of favorite shoes gets left behind it's going to be much easier to grab those things.